All right, so different devices. Um, this is a cool one. So um, gauges of wire refer to how wide the wire is. Um, and depending on what your, there, there's different functions um, for different wires. So this is a cool little device that you can use to measure the gauge of a wire by just sticking the wire through it. Um, and thermometers work based on the measurement of uh, temperature dependent resistance. So you no longer have an ohmic device. You have something with, whose temperature is whose resistance is changing with temperature. So when the resistance changes, then you get a measurement of the temperature. Because in general, as the temperature goes up, um, things heat up, it's easier to move charges, your resistance goes down. This is a fuse. Um, most of you have probably seen one of these. This particular fuse is burned out. Um, and what a fuse will do if, um, if it is a good fuse, is that you will have a little tiny wire here and the wire lets current flow from one side to the other. But if you get too much current, um, then, the, uh, then the wire burns out and, and it breaks into two pieces. And here you can see that the, the wire has in fact burnt into two pieces. So if you have a fuse, you wanna see if things have burnt out, what you can do. Sometimes you can actually see the broken wire um, and sometimes you will actually see the scorch marks from where the, the wire um, burnt and left a carbon deposit on the side of the fuse. Now there's different types of fuses. These numbers right here on that fuse are gonna tell you how many amps um, to, at w what voltage this is rated for. So um, you never want to use something that has a fuse that has more amps than your device is rated for because it's cheap to replace a fuse. It's expensive to replace, replace a, uh, the entire device. Um, that's the whole point of fuses. But do read that carefully if you ever have to replace a fuse. And that's also how you know what um, what fuses you have to buy. And for the record, because there are fuses in your car, um, you can usually buy most standard fuses at gas stations. Um, this is an MRI. Um, and what these are actually doing, um, you're using current to make the electromagnet. So we're going to be talking soon about the different um, about electromagnets and generating magnetic fields with charge it with. Um, so uh, an MRI magnet is basically just a giant circuit where you're generating a magnetic field using, um, using current. 